Welcome back to another mountain bike action video presented by Maxima. Contact points are mega important when it comes to bike setup. And sometimes the stock stuff just doesn't cut it. Here are five of our favorite parts upgrades to help you feel more comfortable gripping, sitting, or standing on the bike. We're even gonna dip into the closet and talk about some wearables like shoes and kits. Let's check it out. For our first pick, we have the ODI Reflex Grips. These grips are on the thicker side with two available diameters, the medium, 33.5 millimeters, and the large, 34.5 millimeters. Both variations feature ODI's medium rubber compound, which is both long lasting and compliant. We like these grips because they were comfortable with or without gloves, durable even after months of riding, and easy to maintain grip even on the gnarliest terrain. We experienced no sticky rubber or uneven wear throughout our test. It is certainly an excellent grip for riders with larger hands or those wanting a softer grip feel. If choosing the right grips is important, then choosing the right shoes should be considered equally important. Whether you ride clipless or flat pedals, having a good pair of well-fitting shoes can greatly increase your confidence while riding. Shimano's GE 700 shoes are great for most types of riding unless you're trying to race cross country. They breathe well, are true to size, and provide plenty of traction in hiking situations. There's also a bit of toe armor that protects against rock strikes which we appreciate as this is something that we do quite often. So if you're a gravity rider who likes to clip in and is racing either downhill or enduro, this is certainly a shoe we'd recommend checking out. Our favorite flat pedal shoes of late are the Specialized 2FO DH shoes. They have a very wide outsole made up of a soft, slow rebounding rubber that sticks to any pedal extremely well. They also have adequate toe armor for rock strikes and maintain traction on the ground in those hike-a-bike situations. They're true to size and because of their wide outsole, it's very easy to find the pedal and keep a firm grip, even if your foot is rattled around a little bit. The only thing we'd wish for would be a velcro strap to contain the laces, but the elastic band in the center of the lace structure works well enough for this purpose. Grips and shoes, hands and feet, that's two points of contact. Now for the third, the saddle. We've recently been using the SQ Labs 611 ErgoWave saddle with Active 2.1 technology. ErgoWave technology is a three-tier system that goes from low in the front, steps up for the sitting platform in the middle, and steps up one more time in the back to keep the support going. Active 2.1 technology is composed of rubber inserts that are installed at the base of the rear rail supports to add mobility to the saddle so it can rock side to side while in use. It has three rubber inserts of varying softnesses to choose from. We currently have the middle one installed. SQ Labs believes in a proper fit and will send you a free sit bone measuring kit with detailed instructions so they can know exactly how wide your saddle needs to be for optimum support. This system seemed to be right on the money for us, and once we got it set up correctly, the saddle became one of the best we've ridden to date. It's comfortable and supportive, and we've experienced zero numbing in unwanted places even without a chamois. Our only note is that the nose is quite long, so for those who like shorter saddles, this may not be the one for you. The saddle is connected to the dropper post. Here we have the PNW Loam Dropper and Loam Lever. This 200mm long dropper has 25mm of adjustment, which means you can take it down to 175mm in length by simply unscrewing the stanchion collar, spinning the notched pushing inside to the indicated adjustment number and screwing the collar back on. To adjust the return rate of the dropper, you can add or subtract air from the top of the dropper with a shock pump. In order to do so, you will need to take off the saddle. The loam lever is similarly adjustable with a reach adjust, a barrel adjuster, and three holes to choose from when mounting to get as close or far from the grips as you need. Our experience aboard this setup has been mainly positive. The dropper works flawlessly and the lever is very comfortable to actuate. Our only issue came when the dropper was fully extended and we wanted to drop it quickly. We found we had to unweight the post for the lever to fully actuate before setting our weight back down to drop it. This was only a problem at full extension, however, and isn't something that would stop us from putting this dropper on more bikes. It's a great post that is easy to service and set up. It's a game of look good, feel good, ride good out on the trails and the new Usui MTB clothing lineup brings that to fruition. First up, the scrub pants. These pants are designed with gravity riding in mind and are made up of durable fabric that has plenty of ventilation in the important areas. 
we found we could fit just about any size knee pad underneath, even with shin guards and ankle braces thanks to the zipper at the bottom of each leg. They only have one pocket, but that pocket is plenty deep and generally large enough to carry a phone, keys, and a few snacks around the mountain. They are quite comfortable to wear all day and were often the pants of choice when going out for an all day adventure or riding the bike park. To go along with the pants, Yusui's Luftig jersey is a great long sleeve jersey that breathes well and fits comfortably. We feel it earned us some great style points out on the trail with its cool tie dye design. It's a great jersey for bike park days with its tough material that doesn't snag or get ripped by passing branches. We only managed to make a small hole in the shoulder by slamming into an abrasive rock after going over the bars. That one hurt. This jersey is perfect for a cool spring days riding or park laps with your buddies. So there you have it. That's five products that we've enjoyed and feel helped us with confidence on the trails and on the bike. If this helped you upgrade your ride experience, let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you always know when we've posted a new video. Also, make sure you check out our monthly magazine that can either be sent straight to your front door or to your email inbox every month with new bike tests, feature stories, and much more. The link is in the description below. Until our next video, we'll see you out on the trails.